Hi everyone, I'm Krish Patel at Tales to Inspire. First and foremost, I wanted to say that my thoughts and to everyone at Tales to Inspire's thoughts um, are to everyone in the world right now who's been affected by this um, corona outbreak, obviously. When things get difficult, it's really easy to think about ourselves and we become really overwhelmed. Um, but it's really important to remember that you can still help someone. No matter where you are in this world, no matter what you're going through, you can still help someone else. So really remember that. Be creative. There's so many ways you can be creative and so many ways in which you can help someone else and help yourself at that same time. Mm -hmm. So please remember to be creative as well. And like I said, do not give up or be defeated. From a personal point of view, here in Bolton, I've been connecting to various groups to see how we can help. So Tales to Inspire so far is connected to Bolton Nice which is a group that will help vulnerable people. I've also found out that on Facebook there's been groups created that are called COVID Mutual Aid throughout the whole country. Now these are set up by individuals such as myself and yourself and basically it's for a local group to come together and figure out how they can best help within their local environment or community. So it's really important if you do want to check that out, it's COVID Mutual Aid on Facebook and at various groups and just type in whichever town or city you're from and it gets to a really local size as well and um, so that's wonderful so you've got the mutual aid you've got food banks you've got different ways to help obviously connecting to people and making sure you're wise though keeping your distance from people and really being hygienic is really important but here at Tales to Inspire what we're going to be doing is Basically, it's the same as every week. We're going to be sending out a tale every single week to encourage you guys, to show you that you can get through your situation and to encourage you to never give up. Currently, we're in a campaign uh, raising awareness for donors. Now, so far, we've released some fantastic, phenomenal tales that connect people who've actually received a kidney or a donation of an organ and people who've given away their donations. Last week, we released Surinder's tale who gave her kidney away um, to a young baby that she'd never met and a family that she'd never met. And on Monday we released Anaya's tale, who's that young baby and her parents who received that kidney. And so we released that on Monday. On Wednesday, we have released Simran's tale, and who is a young 17-year-old wonderful lady who's looking for a kidney and she's on dialysis at the moment. And we've released her tale and it's absolutely amazingly encouraging and how courageous she is. And then next week we release on Monday, we release Rohan's tale, but from the, from the perspective of his mother, from Sonia, his mother. And so you get to see how he's looking for a kidney as well. He's a 13 year old boy and then he goes through his tale. And then on Wednesday we release Azim's tale. Now Azim's an absolutely incredible person. He donated his kidney to a random stranger that he's never met and never met since. And so you're gonna to get to find out all these different stories that are there to inspire you, to encourage you to never be defeated in this difficult time that we're going through. Tales to Inspire will continue to go no matter what. We will keep releasing stories and if you have any tales or stories that you think that we can help with, or if you think that we can help in any way, raising awareness for a cause, connecting vulnerable people at this time, please get in contact with us at talestoinspire.com.